Hey guys, so I found this feather today and I thought why not take a deeper look. This is basically a flight feather. Birds have different types of feathers and flight feathers are one of them and um, they help in flight, they give the lift etc. And this is actually the primary flight feather. There are primary, secondary, extra flight feathers and this is the primary flight feather. And if we look at it, it is kind of a very long feather and it is very asymmetrical. It has a very asymmetrical shape to it, but uh, it is arranged symmetrically on the bird's body and it is seen on the bird's wings and the tails. So when we look, take a deeper look, this uh, has, this is basically the rashes and uh, each of that is branching and these are the barbs and the barbs are, again have the distal barbule and the proximal bar barbule. The distal barbule has hooklets and the proximal barbule has spaces for the hooklets to attach to. That means it is a perfect zipper mechanism to interlock the barbules so that we get a smooth surface. If we look here, there is a gap. That is because the barbules are not interlocked. The proximal and distal barbule are not interlocked. So it is a gap is there. A bird does not want a gap. For a proper flight, this gap should not be there. So this zipper mechanism is what keeps it together. This is a, a, a microscopic image of the same feather that we saw in the first image. And it is uh, the distal barbule and uh, we can see the hooklets. Again, just to recap, the distal barbule has hooklets and the proximal one has the space for the hooklets to hold on to. This is basically taken under the microscope and I just put the feather under the microscope and try to pull them apart, to pull the barbules apart to make that split. But um, if you pull only mildly, with only with a mild force, it doesn't separate. Of course, if we pull with a great force, it will separate out. But if we just give a mild force, it will have an elastic kind of a feel with where this separate out and comes back. Um, and in this in, in this video, we'll see that the lights in, light increases when I pull because when when I pull, the gaps between them increase. And basically, it doesn't look. Uh, this is uh, under a microscope, and a microscope has a light source. When the gaps increase, more light will pass. That is why the light will increase once we start the video. Just that, just pulling, giving a mild force, it is kind of like an elastic structure. Because of this uh, interlocking, it will uh, go away and come back. But if we give a greater force, it will separate out, definitely. See? That light is increasing when the separator out. Separator out, release force, it will come back. Give force, it will go separate out a little. Leave the force and it will come back. Very, very kind of like, very much in elastic kind of a feel. So this uh, this bird is doing what we call as preening and uh, the birds have uh, an oil called preen oil uh, below their tails and that is what we see all the time uh, birds are doing something with their feathers. Basically that is called preening and it's kind of a grooming and preening helps to keep these barbules interlocked. As I already told, see here there's a gap. These gaps are not what the bird, bird wants. To close these gaps, the bird uses its beaks, takes preen oil from below its uh, tail and puts uh, into there and it will help to interlock these barbs. Actually, we don't really need preen oil. We can even try that and that's what I tried here with uh, our feather. Uh, if you look at it, you can see that it is separated out fully and now, again, just uh, from beginning, we look here, see it's all separated out. Now we just move our hand uh, forward and backwards smoothly so that this will interlock all of these barbules will interlock like a zipper mechanism and it will form a smooth surface. So let's see if it is possible for us to do that. If we are able to do that means it is such a perfect and beautiful mechanism. See it's it became so smooth so easy to do just move smoothly forward and backwards and those they will just interlock with each other and form a smooth surface. All right. So just taking the same image where that bird is uh, doing the preening. 
So this is what our feather was. Here we can see it is very smooth. This is the same feather. Once it was separated, I just tried to do it with my hand and brought it back together perfectly. So it is very simple. And there's a very interesting thing, just like a super, super mechanism. Nature has a lot of things for us to look at and marvel at. So that's it. Thank you.